What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So today's video, we'll talk about how I learned to play keys. If you don't have to play keys and you're programming beats, but you want to know how to get yourself around the, the keyboard, I'm going to share some tips with you that can help you. It's helped me to play keys. Is music very important? It's kind of good to know if you're a beat maker, if you're producing beats. You don't have to. I made a whole video on that, so check that out. Before we dive into this video, I've got to shout out my two newest subscribers, Jack McGoldrick and Chibi Prince. Thank you both for subscribing, I appreciate you both. I hope you've hit that notification bell as well so you would've got notified when this video dropped and future videos. Favourite comment coming from Vailua. Hope I pronounced that right. If not, hit me up on Instagram and uh, yeah, let me know how to say it properly. But yeah, I appreciate the comment. It's good to know that videos are helping you and it's always good to connect and just help you to be the best at what you do. Let's dive into this video. So a quick backstory, started making beats on the PlayStation 2, Music Generator 2, and you know that if, if you don't know, all that was is pasting blocks of sounds and trying to make a beat. If you're looking to take it to the next level, looking to up your game, the MTV Music Generator 2, 2 is for you. That can only take you, take you, gets you to a certain point. You start wanting to make beats, proper beats, that you hear on the radio, that you can send out to rappers and stuff, so I upgraded. Tried FL Studio, Reason, Cubase, Pro Tools, didn't get on with any of them apart from Reason, which I liked. And then when I went to study, they used Logic Pro, so I just stuck with Logic Pro. Been using that since 08. But you ain't using blocks of sounds like you do in PlayStation. So then you're going to have to either program your beats or play the keys. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to learn how to play the keys. I wanted to understand how chords work, how melodies work, or just, just to get an overview and understanding that can take my beats to, to the next level. So what I used to do is go on YouTube and put a search in how to play Coldplay, how to play Brian McKnight. And then I was to write down the chords, left hand, right hand, and then just slowly play it on the keyboard and then practice probably about half an hour every day. And this was probably, this is around eight years ago or longer than that. But I would practice, I'd write it all down in the book and just keep going over it and just understanding how it sounds, what kind of chords they was using in the songs and the familiar, familiar, Arities that these songs have because some songs use the same chords or a lot of songs use the same chords through learning and understanding what was going on you pick these things up so when you come to do your own songs you can use these or in your own beats you can use these chords the other thing you can do is buy chord books piano lessons I bought a few piano lesson books and at the time it felt like a something that I would do and get through but it, it does take a lot of discipline when you're buying these courses unless you're that type of person to be really focused and you can like read a book and learn that way then I would suggest doing that but I prefer to see it being done and then kind of copy that and then make that my own. Grab books on how to play chords and understand music theory if music theory is something that you feel like it's going to take you to the next level when you're making your productions, when you're producing your beats. So I'd say one of the best things to do is find songs that you like the sound of. Get a book or something or put it in your notes. Find out what the chords are, what they're playing. Put a search on YouTube how to play like the Coldplay songs, like the Brian McKnight's and uh, one of my favourites when I first played was Icebox, Marion and there's a guy called David Sides who played it in a particular way and I learned how to play that from him. I'll put it on Instagram and he must have seen it shout me out so that was a gas moment for me and since I've learned that technique of playing that's helped me a lot it's helped me to elevate my sound and my production yeah really useful so if you can find someone that you like the style of or you just find a way of playing that suits you keep at it keep practicing 10,000 hours before you become phenomenal at what you do so just put some time aside I don't know, hour a day, half an hour, if an hour is too long. But it's all about the, the work that you put in. You're going to put the work in, you're going to see the results. You can't complain about the results you didn't get by not putting in the work. So that's how I learned to play keys. Self-taught, still learning, always learning, never stops. If this video has helped you at all, got something from it, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram. DMs are always open, always happy to help. If you like this video at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. 